Hello, I'm here at Albright College today. Uh, the governor is here to speak of the college's commencement. Several of the faculty members broke off from the procession to join the protesters outside. Uh, this is one of them. Your name, sir? John Beckham. Okay, uh, what do you teach here? Communications. All right, and uh, what is your feeling about having the governor here today? I think it's grossly inappropriate to um, be lending a platform to somebody who's engaged in this all-out attack on education at all levels, from kindergarten through colleges. And I just could not be a party to it. So he's really Does the faculty have anything particular planned for when the governor makes his address? The, I mean, we're in an awkward position. Um, he is not receiving an honorary degree because the faculty voted overwhelmingly not to grant a faculty degree. And that's an unusual, degree. isn't it, it is for a speaker? The tradition is that the speaker gets a degree, but no one spoke in favor of it at the faculty meeting. One person did vote for it. It was a voice vote, maybe two, but I only heard one. Um, but there was no support among the faculty to speak of for doing it. I know some faculty decided to go in and turn their backs when the governor speaks. Um, I considered that. I tried to talk to students, get a sense of what they're doing, because fundamentally I think this is the students' event. Yes. And I couldn't get a clear sense. Many, all the students I talked to were unhappy about it, but I didn't have a clear sense of what they were doing, and I did not want to disrupt their ceremony if they were you know, trying to get through it. So I decided that the thing to do, that I would do, was to withdraw All right. and the protest. The students actually sent the governor a letter asking him not to come here today? Some students did, but um, okay. I, don't, I don't know how many signed it. I'm not saying either way. I, All right. I'm not sure on that. All right. What do you expect to happen today? I expect some faculty and possibly some students to turn their backs when the governor speaks. Um, the students, they talked about many different options, and I don't know that they ever came to an agreement, which is an awkwardness, um, because like some students were talking about taking out books and reading them, but I'm not sure they will have been allowed to carry books in with the security. Some people were talking about turning their chairs around. I can tell you, having been in there for the morning ceremony, it won't be possible to turn the chairs around. I mean, they're not mm. bolted, but there's right. no... Uh, there's no space. Yeah. Um, All right. And I don't think that's nefarious on the part of the administration. Right? They always pack this thing in. And, you know, mm. I don't think there ever would have been space for such a thing. All right. It does normally arise as an issue, but, you know... Did the governor meet with the faculty or the students before the ceremony at all on campus? Um, not that I'm aware of. There was a lunch, there always is a lunch, with the president and some members of the um, podium team. And I know that a number of faculty were asked to join the governor at that lunch and declined to do so. Okay. Um, I know that students are historically asked. I have not been getting as much. I, this comes right after finals, which is a big disruption to my communication mm -hmm. with the students. Yes, I, um, I can imagine. <laughs> but, so imagine they're sure hunkered about. down, as I recall yes. from my years. And then we're hunkered down grading. And, yes, you know. yes. Um, <laughs> are you proud of the students for standing up? I, I am glad that you know many, many students did voice their opposition. There was a forum in the chapel in which people stayed for several hours, um, both debating with the president and then afterwards talking about what they were going to do about it. Um, <laughs> You know, it is, students have been trying to take some responsibility for what's going on here, not that we had any say. All right. Is this a proud day for Albright College, or is this a black eye for Albright College? The thing that really bothers me about this is, and I would not have made the invitation, I don't think it was that it was appropriate, but it was done before the budget came out. It was done in January. Yeah. So, you know, perhaps you walk down that road and you might regret it, but, you know, you've started down a road and it's hard to get off. And I could see that happen. What I don't understand is why our president felt that it was appropriate to then pen op-eds in the Reading Eagle and the College Alumni Magazine praising the governor's education cuts and talking about how we need to move to a voucher system and take the money from the state colleges. And, and that is just beyond insufferable. I mean, it's beyond the pale. It's an outrage. And so, in that regard, this is a really black eye for the college. I think so. The On another level, it's a proud day for the college because of people the standing up for their beliefs. Students took a stand, yes. yes. The fact the faculty refused to grant an honorary degree. Yes. 
So, you know, the college, the students, the faculty, and that is the college, really. Yes. Um, they, I think, have grounds, you know, reason to be proud. But Do you think the governor got the message? I, he does know that the faculty refused the degree. I, I know that the president spoke with him about that. He would want that to be a surprise on the platform, right? Yes. So, <laughs> oh, by the way. Yeah. So he certainly knows that the faculty, you know, yes. were not with, with him. And on that level, he knows, you know, he got a message. But on a broader level of has he gotten the message that people are outraged at what he's doing to education? If he has gotten that message, there's no evidence that he cares. Okay. Um, you know, he's committed to despoiling the environment and despoiling the education system, and I think the two go hand in hand. Yes. Well, thank you very much.